Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing you how to crack a password protected Microsoft Office document and that includes OneNote as well. So I'm going to be using a couple of components for this, part of John the Ripper, specifically office to johnpy password extracting file or hash extracting file and Hashcat. Now the reason I'm using Hashcat instead of John the Ripper is because I've got more videos of it on my channel. It's going to be easier to do the tutorial for and got more experience using Hashcat as well. The encryption of Office passwords is actually fairly good. So it's AES128 or 256, depending on your version of Office, and SHA-1 as well for the hashing algorithm. And it's sorted as well, so it's going to eliminate the option of using rainbow tables. To start with, I'm going to grab a copy of the office to johnpy file from their GitHub page. There's no need to do this step if you're using Kali Linux, as all the scripts are provided in one place. But I'll grab the file with wget, and there'll be a link to this in the video description. Then I'll run the file with python office to johnpy and the name of the document. So I'm using the document in slash downloads slash test.docx. So that gives me this long line here consisting of the file name, office, the version of the hash, and some other mess that I don't really need to be aware of. That's the actual hash that we're going to try and crack. But this part here is important because we're going to use this in Hashcat. So this is the hash mode that we're going to use. I'll leave a link to this page as well, but the line I'm looking for is Office 2007-21-8-16, so I'm going to be using hash mode 9400. The newest version for Microsoft Office 2013, this also includes Office 2016 and Office 365, that is 9600 you'll need. Now to dump that hash into a file, so let's just drop that into slash download slash office hash dot txt. In fact, if I go across the downloads folder, that'll just make my life easier. Anyway, now to run hashcat. So I'll be hashcat the mode dash m9400 for me. 9600 if you're using the newer version of Office. The attack type I'm going to use, so that'll be attack mode zero. That'll be a straight dictionary attack, and that is the place I recommend you start. Although Although we can probably assume that for most people, the encryption they use in the Office document won't be too strong. So odds are it may be a known password already, or it could be possible to brute force it, say within about eight characters. Start with attack mode zero, but I've got some more videos on what you can do with Hashcat. So the, the location of the hash, so for me, office hash.txt, and a word list. This is a word list you're gonna to have to grab yourself. But let's start with something simple, like the RockU dictionary file. RockU being a website where none of the passwords are probably hashed, and all passwords are now known. So a good one to use. Oh, it hasn't worked. So what have I missed? Ah, well, it's not a valid hash there. So what I could have said is edit that file and get rid of the file name, or we could just tell Hashcat to look in a slightly different place. One could consider that to be a username. So for the sake of simplicity, we'll say it's a username, which will tell Hashcat to look slightly further along the line. And there it goes. So oh, I haven't told it to use the... For a speed improvement, I could use dash O, which will tell Hashcat to use a slightly different driver for the graphics card. So yeah, the optimized kernel. Oh, says requested but not needed, falling back to pure open CL kernel. Ah, okay, maybe an irrelevant that. Anyway, to get an idea of the speed, um, oh, this actually cracked it. But anyway, it's getting 65,000 hashes a second, which is actually not all that brilliant. Not compared to something more basic like NTLM hashes, which will get about, what, 16 mega hashes here, and uh, on a system at work, um, <laughs> 300 giga hashes. But yeah, even that dropped alarmingly as well on speed. So yeah, it's a more complicated hash to crack. Anyway, I have the password here of a 1967 the Mustang. Oh, how uh, creative that person was who created that document password. Probably me. <laughs> oh, it was me, actually. I was just doing a little demonstration. Anyway, copied it to the clipboard. I can go and open it up now. 
in LibreOffice, I know. <laughs> but this is a Linux system and I haven't got Microsoft Office on here, but I've pasted that password there and the document has opened. So that is how to crack a password protected Microsoft Office document. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.